Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from ComputerGuardGuard.com. This tutorial will look at outlining tasks in Microsoft Project. I've got a project in front of me at the moment which I'd like to create an outline for these list of tasks. Now an outline is created by indenting tasks and when you indent them tasks they become subtasks and the task above it becomes a summary task. This creates groups of tasks in your project which makes it much easier well it makes your, your list of tasks much more readable makes them organized and easier to work with you can collapse and expand list of tasks um, hiding them when necessary and showing them uh, also when necessary if we dive straight in and we'll, we'll look at creating these these summary tasks creating this outline now what I've done is I've inserted some tasks already in this list of, of project tasks. I have a pre-production phase task, a production phase, a scene 1 and a scene 2. And these tasks I've just inserted in a normal way, you know, selecting the row below where I'd like my new tasks to appear and inserting a new task. But I like to turn these into summary tasks now, which you do by selecting the tasks underneath that that you'd like to to use the subtasks and by using your indent task button on your formatting toolbar this green arrow facing right if you give that a click that will indent them tasks therefore making them subtasks and the one above it the pre-production phase task becomes a summary task as you can see it has created that group I was mentioning the outline there was a second level to this list now and I can use this minus sign to collapse and expand that list making it much easier to work with them. See it also provides information to that level so I can see that phase takes 14 days when does it start when does it finish and so on. So th there are many different ways many different approaches I should say to, to outlining tasks in a project you can do it by phase which is the approach I'm taking here or you may do it by the departments or the teams that are working on that part of the project but the key thing here is you can get information from your project at that level so I can find the information out about the pre-production phase you know, how much does it cost when does it finish or is it variance from the baseline I can do this quite easily just by a quick glance at the information in the table so it's a good thing to think about before you even get going in the planning of your project. Just moving down to these other tasks. Once again, I can select the tasks I want to use, indent them. And you can indent by more than one level. So I can also indent again these tasks underneath scene one and these tasks underneath scene two. Creating three levels to this outline. So I can find information out at the scene 2 stage but also at the whole production phase once again durations costs any information I want to find out so it's a very easy thing to do to create these outlines and very useful once again even at a basic stage just showing and hiding information either for printing or just to make it more readable on screen now the last thing missing really here is I need a project summary task so I get the same information but for the whole project now this task has already been created, it isn't something we need to insert, it is something that we need to make visible. To do this we need to go to the tools menu, down to options, into the view tab, which I already am, check the show project summary task box and click on OK. And in comes the task or the project summary task. Now providing information for the whole project. This project summary task already has a name, which it is probably getting from the properties of the project, which can be entered under the file menu and in properties. But this can always be changed. I could just type something over the top of that. Just for example, we'll just change it to film, and you can change that at any point. You cannot delete this task, all you can do is make it invisible again by going through the tools and options. Uh, menu okay thank you for watching that was creating an outline within microsoft project please check out some other tips and tutorials at computergargard.com